This is it. This is camp for the tonight, for the day, tonight, and tomorrow. Man, this campsite is cool. Got a little creek coming in right there. Got a, there's a big creek back there. It's kind of, it's on a dead end road. And this is at a lake that I like to come up here and fish up in the Cherokee National Forest. So um, I've already done the fishing and I've already caught the fish that I'm gonna be cooking. So um, I'm gonna show you what I did earlier about two hours ago. I went fishing and then I'm gonna be setting up camp. I'm gonna get a fire going, get my other stuff out, get my food ready to cook, and then I'll meet back up here. Man, it's a beautiful fall day out here, late October. So I just put two and a half um, hours on my clock timer and that's how much time to have to catch supper and also just to fish before I go back and I uh, gotta get everything set up in the camp. So let's get to fishing. Here's one. All right, there's our start. Not what we're gonna keep to eat, <laughs> but uh, I'm just throwing around this little swim bait just to kind of see what I come across first. And first thing is a little large enough. Oh, look at that, look at that. Oh, a little largemouth. Oh, that one came out and hit it pretty hard. There we go, there we go. That's a species that we need to catch. There's no size limit on him. Um, I'm gonna say he's big enough to keep. I'm gonna keep a handful. I didn't even bring a stringer. So uh, we're just gonna throw him in the net. I probably wanna keep some, I wanna catch some bigger ones than that, but I definitely want enough to have a meal at night. So we got one. Oh, I missed one right there. Oh, he's back on. That might be a keeper too. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a big one. That's gonna be a, that's a solid one right there. Yeah, that's a yellow perch number two. Oh yeah. Ow, thin me when I threw him in there. Got me. I'm just using a 1 16th ounce jig head, little um, Bobby Garland, I forget what this thing's called. I like a little action. Oh, it's the strollers. So I like a little bit, of, it's got a little bit of a size to it where it isn't tiny, but as I'm reeling it slow, it's got a really good kicking action. And um, a lot of times they hook the yellow perch, you kind of want a moving lure. It does make it easier when, from what I've seen. Oh. Oh yeah, they're right underneath me. Okay, that was the next cast. Man, we're gonna get these fast. I think that's big enough too. These are all like, I think decent size. Let's measure it just to see what we're looking at. Yeah, you know, eight and a half inches. Uh, a giant, a big one's 11 inches. And I've caught one out of here that was 13 inches. So it makes that one look tiny, but I think he's just big enough to eat. We got three now, we might get, uh, cause I'm probably gonna have some trouble when I'm cleaning them. Probably not gonna get a ton of meat, so I'm gonna go for five is what I wanna keep. Yeah, that one thumped it. And let's see. Uh, we'll keep that one too. All right, that's four. I need one bigger one. That way if I have trouble cutting them up, at least I know I'll get some meat out of that guy. Oh, oh yeah, that's good, that's a good one. There it is, I think that's a good, yeah. Or he just hook it weird. No, that's a good one, that's, that's gonna be perfect. Let's see how long this guy is. Oh yeah, oh no! Dude, that one's like nine and a half inches. He pooped on me and then jumped back in. All right, if I get another one that size, we'll just go ahead and throw it in the basket. Mm. 
There he is. There he is. That's a good one. Okay, throw him in the basket. All right, there'll be five in there. Okay, I kind of got him in the basket right there, hanging out. Boom, five, pretty fast. We may go back and catch some more. What's going on? Well, perfect timing. A line's got all tangled up. Um, let's go ahead and set this rod away and um, get some bass rods. All right, so I got my five um, keepers that I'm gonna take to cook. And um, I fished up for bass for a couple minutes and didn't get any bites. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw a little small swim bait around. I got about 20, 30 minutes I'm gonna fish because I gotta go clean those fish. Also gotta get firewood and uh, things set up for the camp. Oh, oh, that was a good one. All right, I'm back up here where I was catching them. I think, I mean, there's lots of places where you can catch them, but I was getting a bunch of bites right through here. Yeah, oh. I missed like four or five now. Oh, man. I need that light rod. It's too bad the line's all twisted up on it. There's one, there's one. Oh, little guy. Man, that's the smallest one yet, so. I thrown him back in. Anyways. Goodness. For some reason I cannot hook these fish. I probably missed 10. That's a nice one. Not with the stiffer rod. I know I could switch reels if I wanted to, but I don't have too much time left. But <laughs> I've had so many bites that just I have not got hooked up. The squirrels. Oh, it's, it's time to go, I guess. All right, it's uh, five o'clock. It's gonna get dark at like like 7.30, but it's already, like the sun's already going down, you can tell. And uh, I got some work to do, but these squirrels, they're up and down the bank of this creek, and I've been seeing them come down and get a drink out of the water, out of the bank of the lake. They'll come down and get a drink out of the water, but they make such a racket up there. They are jumping around and just making all kinds of noise. I keep thinking a bear or something's walking through, but a bear wouldn't even make that much noise. It, it probably, if a bear was there, I'd never know it. All right, one more perch and we're going in, if we can get one real quick. Yep. Oh, that feels good. That might be uh, good in there. Wow, that's a fat one. Oh, we gotta throw him in. I definitely want enough food for night, and if I got a few extras, I'll just take them home, but yeah, let's throw that one in. The basket. All right, let's head in. We got work to do tonight. Hey, welcome back to the campsite. I uh, got the fire going. Last time I camped, um, I had a lot of trouble with the fire, so I wasn't messing around this time, brought the torch. Plus, I found a bunch of dry wood on the side of the road over here, so I got a good bunch of wood. Probably gonna go pick up some more here in a little bit. I'm getting ready to eat here. Got my tent up already. I'm gonna batter the uh, fish in just a second. Um, I got a couple of things, but first, I'm gonna cook these sausage. So let me get these sausage cooked. And I even went and bought a little uh, campfire, or a little, uh, little gas grill thing. This is all I could find. This was the uh, simplest one, and it's all they had at Walmart when I went to look. It was the only thing I had, so I got a skillet, got some grease. So I'm gonna cook up my sausage first, then the, the fish. 
and hopefully we have some more snacks. Actually, got a Mountain Dew too right there, so I'm ready to go. It's gonna be a good night. I forgot this was in a stickless pan. Oh man, things about to fall off. I'm gonna, I'm burning something down. All right, I actually put some Crisco in there. Got my sausage done. Now let's put these uh, fish pieces in. I got them battered, it's just some kind of fish batter that I bought. Man, supper was great. The uh, fish turned out great. I ate all the fish, almost all the sausage. Got a nice fire going. Got a couple snacks, I think, a uh, little desserts maybe to eat. Now I'm about to bundle up and um, clean up the stuff, make sure I put all my food stuff away. And uh, it's gonna be like 32 degrees, probably like 30 degrees here tonight. And there's something crawling around in the woods over there. But it's probably a possum or a raccoon or something. This is the end of the video. I had a fun time doing this. I learned a lot. Every time I've, I'm trying to do more camping. So every time I've, this, the second time I've done one this year, I've learned a lot more. Like I need more utensils and stuff for cooking. The little gas stand was kind of shaky. So I probably need to get a little bit bigger one than that. But tomorrow I'm gonna get up and I'm probably not gonna cook anything. I'm just gonna get up as the sun comes up. I'm not gonna get up too early. Uh, maybe let the sun warm up a little bit. And I'm gonna go fish that lake um, that I fished, but I'm gonna target some bass. So if you're interested in seeing me fish that lake, it'll probably be the next video after this one. And um, probably not show a lot of camping stuff, but this was uh, this is one where I tried to do some fishing, tried to do some camping, cooking, and it all worked out. Now get ready for sleep. Thanks for watching.